Welcome to a video on setting up communication between your computer controller and your Intellitech machine. The first thing we want to do is go ahead and connect the two machines together. Go ahead and connect one end of my Ethernet cable into the Ethernet port of the machine. Next we'll go ahead and plug the other end of our Ethernet cable into the computer controller itself. Now that we've connected both ends of the Ethernet cable to the machine and the computer, we need to go ahead and configure the IP for the controller. So I'm going to click on Machine IP Configuration. I'll go ahead and say yes. And pick whatever port you're using. Right now mine is Ethernet 3. Yes. And then you should see a window pop up that says Machine IP Address Configuration was successfully completed. Now your machine and your controller are communicating with each other. We now need to make sure that our software is configured correctly. The next thing I want to do is go ahead and make sure that my software is configured correctly to match my hardware. I'm going to go ahead and click on CNC Motion Configuration. And on the first tab, I'm going to go ahead and leave it on the default for inch. On the general tab, I want to go ahead and make sure that I'm not running offline or in simulation mode. If you're installing CNC Base on this machine, which you should be, um, this shouldn't be the default option anyways. But if it is, go ahead and uncheck that. I'll then go to the Options tab. I do have the jogging hand wheel, um, so I'll go ahead and select that. The one that I'm missing right now is the actual single acting vise. So I'm going to go ahead and say Reinstall and it should pop up with any options that I can select or go ahead and install on the machine. And I'm going to go ahead and select the Air Vice Output. Now I have everything that I need. I've got the shield opener, the power draw bar. I do have the jogging hand wheel, so I've got that now installed. And I have the Air Vice Output. Uh, as far as the machine configurations, I should be able to leave all of that alone. And as soon as I say OK, it'll ask me if I want to go ahead and launch CNC Motion for Intellitech CNC and FANUC Emulator. And I'll go ahead and say yes. So if you've ever played in the software before, you may notice that I actually have a new icon here. Um, the third one down on this side, I now have one that says Vice. So that's what's going to allow me to control the air inputs um, to open and close my air vise. Um, but unfortunately, I still have the manual vise on my machine, and I want to go ahead and change that. So I'm going to go up to 3D Image, and I'm going to come down to Setup Machine. Once I'm in there, I'm going to go to the Vice tab, and I'm going to change it from the manual vise to the single axis vise. And it's shifted over in the simulator a little more than I would like it to be. So I'm going to change that 8 to a 6, uh, maybe a 5, 5 and a half. So that looks pretty good to how I actually installed the vise on the machine. So I'll go ahead and say OK. So you may notice that all of a sudden it populated the ATC on there, and I didn't choose that. I think it's some kind of glitch in the software now that I've changed over the vise. Um, and I know that there's some things that won't run correctly anymore. So I need to close the software and reopen the software and make sure that this ATC is gone. So I'm just going to close it and reopen it. And great, the ATC is gone. I should be able to go ahead and open and close it. Now I know that I have communication with the machine because as I click on this button, I can actually hear the solenoid on the machine clicking to open and close the device. And so that's it. So let's go back through the steps real quick. Make sure both ends of your cable are connected to your machine and your computer. Go ahead and configure your computer's IP address. Set up any hardware configuration that's needed, and then go ahead and open up your software. You can see right now that I'm running CNC Motion to communicate with the machine, and I'm making sure that I do it in online rather than simulation. But if I remember correct, CNC Motion will have an expiration date, where CNC Base doesn't. If I also remember correct, CNC Base does not have the simulator in it, so that's one thing that you can't see. You have the actual controller rather than being able to see the virtual machine and the real machine. So for right now, I'm using CNC Motion because I'm able to get a new license for that every year. I just reinstall the software each year. And that's it. Your machine and your controller are now communicating.